In today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to design a church retreat flyer in Photoshop. So let's start our work. So create a workspace, Ctrl plus N, and then input your width to be 20 inches, your height should be 20 inches, and then your resolution 80 pixels per inches, and leave your color board to RGB and hit on OK. All right, now let me zoom out the page so that we see what is going on. Well, all right, so from there, let me go and drag my background like this to this place to make a duplicate of that. Then go to your adjustment layer and go to solid color. Now, let me go to my text and then copy this color code, copy that, then control V to paste that color code over here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go to file and, and I'll place my first source file in. So I'll bring in this very one. So I'll place that. And from there, I'll open this shift and alt and drag it out like this. Drag it like this. All right. Then the next thing is I'll go to my filter and go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. And then from there, I will bring the blur back a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like this. All right, then I'll hit on OK. Then from there, I'll go to blending option and put this on open. Guys, that, that, that is it. Then I'll go to file again, go to, and then I'll play my place my next image and I'm going to place the next image into the work. And this is the next image that I'm going to bring. All right. So let me select it properly like this. And then I will hold shift and alt and drag this out like this. Send the picture up a bit like this. And from there, let me go to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and blur this out a little bit. So let me put this on 16.0 and hit on OK. And then from here too, I'll go and place this also on overlay. And then let me add a layer max to this so that then from there add pick your brush tool brush out the the black side like this all right then the next now this i'll go back to my file go to place and then bring in this particular image then open this image out like this then go to your blending option put this on soft light so you get something like this add a layer max to that and then pick your brush tool and then brush out this part brush out this part too like this all right then let me go to file and let me place the next image this one like this then i am going to drag this out like this and then drag it in like this so that it will be showing for me all right then what i'll do next is that i am going to put Blend this. Let me blend this out a little bit. So you go to filter and go to go blend Gaussian blend. Then put this around 16.0. Hit on OK. Then go to your blending option and put this on overlay. So you get something like this. All right. So guys, that is the background for me. Then the next thing I'll do is I'll go to place again, and then I'll bring in this last image. So let me bring in this one open it up like this position it to this end like this then open it up a bit all right then let me bring it down a little bit so let me use my arrow key to center this properly all right so guys that is it so let me go to my filter again go to blur and go to Gaussian blur and then let me blur this out like this then let me go to my blending option and put this as well on overlay and then add a layer mask to that as well pick your brush tool and then brush this particular part off brush this part off like this so that we can get perfect blending so let me clean this part off a little bit like this all right so guys that is it for us now the next thing i'm going to do at this point is i'll go to blur again i'll go to file and then let me place let me bring in my brush background brush like this let me open this out and then position this at the very bottom like this 
all right so guys that is it for me i will then group all of these select all of them select this go down shift and select this ctrl g to group that and then let me name here background so you get something like this so guys that is it then the next thing i'll do from here is i'll go to my adjustment layer and then let me add a little curves to that so i am going to add a little curves to what we've done so far so that we get something like this now let me go again go to the adjustment layer again and then add a little exposure to that again as well so that we'll get some nice perfect exposure i think that is too much okay so i think this is cool it's too much all right so guys that is it for us so the next thing we are going to do now is pick your type tool okay pick your type tool all right so the font i'm going to use at this point is called lato okay lato and then from there i will increase the font size a bit and then i'll go to my text and copy this ctrl c to copy that and ctrl v to paste that over the so you get something like that okay then let me change the font color to white hit on ok then pick this bring it and position it at the down part like this ctrl a to center this ctrl d to be selected now the next thing i'll do is i will duplicate this ctrl j to duplicate this then use your down arrow key to bring it down down then pick your type tool again select all of these go back to your text copy this ctrl c to copy and then ctrl v to paste now select the two like this and then ctrl a to center align them ctrl d to deselect all right now let me bring the two down a little bit like this then let me go back to my file place and let me bring in the logo like this now what i'll do next is that i'll rasterize this right click on it the logo and rasterize it pick your magic wine tool make a selection around it hit on bar space key hit on bar space key hit on bar space key and hit on bar space key and hit on bar space key now ctrl d to deselect that now what i'll do is that i will pick this i will reduce the size of this then i'll send it to the top like this okay then i'll go back and pick my okay make sure that none of the layer over here is selected because you are going to hold down the shift key all right so let me right click and pick my ellipse tool and then let's make a shape like this make a shape like this all right then let me change the color of the shape to white like this then let me bring it beneath the logo so that the logo will be on top now hold down ctrl and select the two shape align them well okay now let's position them properly and then let me hold down select this ctrl key and select all then ctrl a to center them well okay all right so guys that is it ctrl d to deselect now ctrl g to group all of this and said church church name okay so that is it there for us all right now let me open this let me open it and then make some few settings so let me bring this down and then let me close it a bit to something like this all right so let me close this now all right so i'll pick my type tool again and then i'll go back to my test and copy this ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste like this then 
I will come and position this over here like this. Control A to center this. Control D to deselect. And then let me pick my type tool again. And then let me change the font from Lato to Impact. Okay. All right. Then let me go to my test. Copy this. Control C to copy. Control V to paste that. Okay. Go take your move tool and then ensure that transform control is as active. And then hold down shift and alt and open this. Hold down shift and alt and open this up neatly like this. Okay. Now let me close this up a bit. Let me close it up a bit. All right. Then let me come to the gap and let me give the gap to the 70 to something like that. Okay. So let me reduce it a bit to say 60. Let me give it to 60. All right. So guys, that is it. Then the next thing I'll do, I'll go back to my shape tool, take a rounded, and then change the radius from 30 to 20, and then make a shape like this over here. Now let me change the color for that shape. Let me change the color for that shape. Open it like this. Go back to your text. Copy this. Ctrl C to copy that. Ctrl V to paste that over there. And then that is it there for me. So guys, that is it. So let me bring this. Let me untake this for now. Okay. And then let me take it back. Pick your type tool. Go back to your text and copy this. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. Now let me pick this. Let me untick this for now. Let me pick it and put it on top of this like that. All right. So pick your type tool again. Go back to your text. Copy all of these. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Now pick your move tool and then hold down shift and alt and open this up like this position this neatly here like this okay let me open this up a bit let me open it up a bit i think this is okay for me over there now what i'll do next is that i will make adjustment to this so i will go to my night go to fx go to drop shadow or you can right click on it and go to blending options okay so let me increase the distance a bit to 12 and then let me increase the spread a bit to 20 and then the size also let me increase it to let me put it on 12 all right so i think that is cool so let me come to this and change it to this contour let me check and see which of them will be good for me. Let me check and see which of them will be good. Okay, so you check the one that is good for you. You pick. Okay. I think I like this one. Then from there, I'll go to my inner glow. And then I'll change the inner glow color to a color like this. Then I'll hit on OK. Then let me increase the size a little bit for this inner glow to something like this. Okay, that is 90. And from there, let me see the glow and let me change it to this, the cone inverted one. And let me add a stroke, a little stroke, just a little stroke. Just a little stroke, okay and then bring the stroke to two i think that is cool over there then from there let me give it a little satin as well so go to this place pick this color and then adjust it to not all that white and then let's increase the size of the satin a little bit to something like this 
then the angle to 90 degrees and hit on ok from there we are going to copy this all the effects we applied on the night to the prayer retreat so hold down hold key and drag the fx and place it on prayer retreat like this so every effect will be placed on that for you all right so what will happen next is let me select the three like this and then position it well over here at the center okay so that i will get something like this then this is okay this is okay let me know in the comment section let me know in the comment section how do you think the position to be like okay now from there i will go back to my type my i'll pick my shape tool again at this time i'll pick the rectangle itself and then i will make a shape like this and this point like this okay and then i'll open the color box and change sorry let me change the color for this to this very color okay then let me close it up a little bit to something like this okay so go back to your test and copy this control c to copy that and then pick your type to control v to paste that then all you do is reduce the size for this okay then pick this and place it on top of this okay all right so that is it it fits over there perfectly now let me select the two this shape like this and then let me center it properly center this one too okay now from there pick your type tool again go back to your test copy this ctrl c to copy and then ctrl v to paste that over here now pick it and position it at this juncture okay then let me close the gap a little bit to 50 okay so that there will be enough space there then let me select this and this ctrl j to duplicate that and then hold that shift so that the alignment will not be distorted okay now pick your type tool highlight this go back to your test and copy the verse ctrl c to copy that ctrl v to paste this over here so that you get something like this so that you get something like this so let me reduce the size of this so let me reduce this size a little bit okay so that i'll get something like that over there let me position this properly over there and then what will happen is i'm going to select all of these i'm going to select i'm going to select this and select this as well okay then i will position all of them over here like that now let me move my let me select this select this select this select this again ctrl g to group them and let me name that the theme okay now what i'll do next is i am going to file go to place and let me bring in this picture okay now place this here open it up guys kindly subscribe if you have if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe and then give me your comments at the comment section all right so that is it let me position this neatly there for us okay so 
then next time I'll pick my type tool again and then I'll go to the text and then I'll copy my date ctrl c to copy that and then ctrl v to paste let me position this at this place like this i think I, I have to open this up a bit i have to open it to something like this then ctrl j to duplicate that pick your type tool select this again go to your text and copy this ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste and let me paste that over there let me open this to this alignment okay so that we'll get something like that all right all right all right all right so next what i'll do is that i'll duplicate this ctrl g ctrl j to duplicate that send it to the top and then i like this and type the sun sunday like this and from there make your move tool active and then drag this in like this let me drag it in a bit like this okay okay so that is it over there pick your type tool again go back and copy this ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste and now let me bring down this like this and let me open it up let me open it up let me open it up again open it up like this my guy pick this let me pick this I send to this place like that okay and then let me open it up small okay let me bring it out a bit like that now let me go back to my shape tool pick your shape tool and make a nice shape around this like that then from there change the color for that shape let me change the color to i think this color will be good for me okay perhaps you can use any color of your choice okay I prefer is I prefer is that one. So let me center this and center this as well, so that I'll get something like this. All right. So what I'll do next is that I will duplicate this. Control J to duplicate that. So let me put this here. So what will happen is, let me select select this. then let me select this but I'll select this then ctrl G to group that as date okay then let me come here pick your type tool and highlight this go to your text box and copy this ctrl C to copy ctrl V to paste and from there pick your type tool again and then copy AM Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste that over there. Pick your move tool and let's position this over here. And from there, let's make this to be in alignment with this. Select the tool like this and center them. Sorry. And then and center them like that now let me group this ctrl g to group and say time all right okay now what i'll do next is that i'm going to pick my type tool again and then i'll go to my test and i'll copy the location ctrl c to copy that and i'll paste that over here ctrl v to paste let me change the color to this very color 
and then let me move this to the down down like this okay but let me change my the color for this to black at once to something like this let me move it to the down part like this okay like this okay let me put it here because another thing will come like this so the next thing i'll pick my type to again go back to my test copy this control c to copy and then control v to paste that over there then let me move this to this very place like this change the color for this let me change the color Okay, let me select this. Okay, let me select, let me bring it to this place. Pick your type tool. Okay, then let me change the color to a color like this. Okay. Then I will then move this and put it at this place like that. Okay. I think uh, let me see this place. I think this is uh, okay. I think this is good over there. It is good over there. Okay. So you can position, take your time and position this well at the appropriate place where it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. Now the next thing you are going to do, pick your type tool again and type that. Where she with us and let me change the color to black and I'll hit on OK like that and then let me bring this over here bring it over here okay then I'll pick my shape tool again and then I'll make a shape like this across it Change the color for the shape to this. Okay, let me put it on black at once. And then let me select this and that. And then position it well. Okay. Then rasterize this layer. Pick your brush tool. Open it to a precise shape, precise size that you want. Okay, so let me. Sorry. Control Z to undo. Let me add a layer marks to that. Okay. So that you get something like this. Alright, so guys, that is, is it for us. Now, what I'll do at this place is I'm going to bring this down by like this then I'll go to my source file and then um, I'll bring in this okay then from there rasterize this make your polygonal rect uh, rectangular mobile tool and let me cut out this select it and then right click on it and choose layer by cut pick your move tool and bring this bring this to this very place like this reduce the size a little bit to something like this all right then from there 
let's change the color for this so we are going to change the color to white click on ok click on ok right go back to your mogul tool pick your mogul tool and then copy this copy that and then pick your move tool and move this to this very end like this now reduce the size of this a little bit position it well now right click on this again go to blending options and go to color overlay and let me change this one also to white and then hit on ok now let me select the last one which is the location and bring it down to this place like this reduce the size for this reduce the size for this and position it here to somewhere well like that now what i'll do is i'll right click on this go to blending options and let me change the color for this to okay okay let me change it to black black and hit on ok and hit on ok all right so i think that that is it over there for us okay let me send this to the top Okay, then let me select all of these two. And let's group let's group them as well. Let's say uh, mati materials. Okay. Now what we'll do is that we are going to add a layer to the top over here. Okay. We'll add a layer to that and then go to our adjustment layer go to solid color okay so let me bring the let me bring the layer to uh, okay let me put it here bring your layer we'll put it here like this okay now let me go to the solid color now and what we we'll do let me bring it okay go to solid color now and let's copy the color code let's go and copy this this color code and then paste this color code over here like this from there reduce the size reduce the size for that Reduce the size. So I'll reduce my to eight. I reduce my to eight. All right. So guys, this is the design for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel, and also leave your comment at the comment section. So we'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.